Let's start by quickly looking at the example as a refresher. You're going to, I'm gonna give you some specifics on how to go out and find a clock that you're going to use icons eight to add these wonderful icons around your poster. You're going to make sure you write your name on your poster. And basically what you're going to do is create a visual representation of things you enjoy doing after school. And since this is the beginning of this semester, we want you to think about two goals, two things within these items that you're showing us that you may be able to say, hey, these are two goals I'm gonna work on. So mine would be about walking my dog. The other would be about learning a little bit more about gardening so that I'm just a, a master gardener by the end of the year to this year. So let's go back and figure out how we're going to walk through this assignment. Remember to use your checklist always to help you to help you make sure you're completing all of the required tasks rather than just guessing at them. Now, if you haven't done this already, you'll notice you don't have a template to work on. So in task four, I tell you, you're going to need to go to your work and then go to add or create. From here, you're going to simply add a drawing. And by doing that, it's going to name it the name for this assignment with your name on there, which is pretty sweet. Once you have that in there, go ahead and open that one. That is your task four, excuse me, that's the beginning of your task four. Now we want you to start by adding in that clock at the very beginning. So you're gonna add a new tab here. I gave you the link in the checklist as well. It's called media4math.com. So if you were gonna type this in here, media4math.com, that's going to take you to the, oh, maybe it's not going to. It's not, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. We're gonna simply type in, instead I give you the specifics here, clock with 310. So if we do that instead, and then we go to images, that's going to show you this one right down here that says media click. You're gonna click on that one, open that one in the page, and then to copy that clock, we're simply gonna hold our pencil over this and add it to our photos. All right, once you do that, if you wanna check it, check in your photos and then look to see if that clock is there. Now, when you're in your photos, notice I have a bunch of icons in here as well. Some pictures of dogs, water drops, whatever. I'm gonna show you how to save some icons now so I'm gonna close that math. I'm gonna close this one. I don't need those pages open. You're also going to need to save some icons. Before you even pull anything into your project, I suggest you just start saving those. So I'm gonna make a new tab here. I'm gonna click on the plus sign up here in the upper right-hand corner, and I'm gonna go into icons8.com icons eight now when you're doing your search the easiest way to do this is search for it here and then let's say I'm gonna search for eh, I'm gonna search for uh, recycle because maybe recycling is a recycle bin might be your goal maybe you're gonna do a little better job recycling so I'm gonna click on this recycle bin when you get to this page, the easiest way to save the image that you like, you wanna make sure you're saving free ones first of all. But if you find a bin that you like, just click on it with your finger on the screen. And let's see if I can get that to work. Click on it and then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna just add to photos. And then maybe, maybe I'm gonna, while I'm in here, I might grab another one just to make sure don't go to these that say premium icons by Shutterstock because you're going to have to pay for those. Don't do that. Find the ones that are free. Maybe you like this one and then do add to photos. So you want to make sure you're finding icons that are free. And you also want to make sure you're just selecting the very small ones. So if I wanted to find another one, maybe I want to do um, a bicycle. I'll do one more to show here. Bicycle, 
And remember, we want the free ones. You're simply going to, I think you can click on it with your pencil as well, I can, and add to photos, that works. And then maybe if I scroll up, I might find another one I like. So play around with this. This Icons 8 is a fantastic resource. Just make sure you notice to turn those in so that, there is, that you're saving them in your photos. Right now, go find about 10 or 15 items that tell a pretty good story about what you do when that 310 bell rings. That's your task five. Then come back and I'll show you a couple of tricks on how to add those into your project. All right, if you're all done getting your icons, I like to kind of clean things up, not have so many pictures here. Now, if I go up to my insert, and you can click that with your pencil or use your trackpad. If you go to your insert image, you're going to do an upload. Don't use photos here, that's your Google Photos. We're gonna upload from your computer and you're gonna to go to your photo library. Once you're here, you can add as many as you want. So I'm gonna click on the bicycle. You definitely need the clock. I'm gonna click on the trash can, the popcorn, the flower. So once you have those saved, you're gonna see how easy this is from your pictures. Click on your, oh, I like that little sun. I like my recycle. I'm gonna click my add. And now if I deselect from here, I can go ahead and move these around. Notice they came in as just nice little icons. They're clear, they're crisp. So at this point, you're gonna to wanna to arrange these in, you know, at the time of the day, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At what time of the day are you doing these things? Go ahead and do that. Arrange those around the circle. What are some things you're doing? Walking your dogs, journaling, reading, drinking water. What are some things you like to do? Maybe you're playing video games. You come up with those icons. Come on back and I'm gonna show you how we select this circle for your item. All right, remember on task nine, I tell you, I tell you to, um, you're going to have to draw a circle around your two selected that goals that you're going to work on. So for, for this one, you're gonna to go to your shape and you're simply gonna to go to a circle. And you're gonna draw that circle with either your trackpad or your pencil. You need to take the fill out of it. And to do that, we say that it's transparent. I would suggest you make a border color that's a color that you like, and then make it just a little bit thicker so that it fits nicely around whatever it is you're using as your goal. And once you have one of those done, save yourself some time, click on that shape, do a command D as in duplicate, put it over the second icon that you're going to use as your goal, just as two things you're going to work on. And that's all you need to do for that. I do tell you on this one, make sure you change the background color. So change that background color. These little checks in the background would say that that's transparent, but I want you to show me that you can do that, that uh, change to make that a different color. Double check that checklist to make sure that you've completed all the tasks. This is kind of an overview of all the things you need to do for this one. It's a fun one. It tells your teacher a little bit about what you like to do after three o'clock. Remember, I'm gonna remind you again, you should always reflect. We'll talk more about this, but we want you to get in the habit of making sure you reflect. So down here at the bottom, add your private comment. Add a comment to your teacher. You might just say something like icons8.com is a great resource for icons. And that's all you would need to do. Make sure you send that to your teacher and don't forget to turn it in so that we can grade your work.